Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express, Science Lesson Video, Vertebrates and Invertebrates. In this lesson, learners will be able to define the term vertebrates and invertebrates, name the groups of vertebrates, name the groups of invertebrates. What are vertebrates and invertebrates, you may ask? Well, all vertebrates have one thing in common, a backbone. Vertebrate groups include the fish, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and birds. The first group of vertebrates are the amphibians. Amphibians are cold-blooded, they live on land and water, have moist skins and webbed feet, have skeletons on the inside of their bodies, and they lay eggs. The second group of vertebrates are the mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded, they live on land and water, they have hair, wool, or fur that covers their body. They have a skeletal system on the inside of their bodies. They give birth to live babies which drink their mother's milk. Third group are the reptiles. So we're going to talk about the reptiles here. Reptiles are cold-blooded, they live on land and in water, they have scales, air holes, and dry skin, they have skeletons on the inside of their bodies, but tortoise have one on the outside too. They lay eggs, that's how they have their young. The next group of ver vertebrates will be the fish. Now fish are cold-blooded, they live in water, they have fins to move and gills to breathe under water. They have skeletons on the inside of their bodies and fish lay eggs in water. The fifth group of vertebrates are the birds. Birds are warm-blooded. They live on land and water. They have feathers, which are unique to birds. They also have wings and a beak. They have skeletons on the inside of their bodies and they lay eggs. Now that we have learned about the five group of vertebrates, we are now going to learn about invertebrates. Animals without a backbone are called invertebrates. These inc include mollusks, insects, spiders or arachnids, crustaceans, encanoderms, and worms. Most invertebrates have exoskeleton. An exoskeleton is a hard outer covering that protects an animal's body and gives it support. So here we have the picture of some of the invertebrates, and I'm sure you can identify some of them. Some invertebrate groups include the insects, the spiders, the mollusks, sponges, spiny skins, these are the encanoderms, and worms. Here we have the fly, an insect, the spider. We have 
the conch, which is a mullox, the sponges, the sea urchin, the spiny skinned, and then the worm. We also have the jellyfish, which is also an in the Incaniderm group. Let us now learn about the first group, the mullocks. Mullocks are cold-blooded. They're commonly known as slugs and snails. They are invertebrates without backbone. They have tentacles with smell and taste receptacles. Many have shells for protection. Now we're going to look at the insects and the spiders. Insects and spiders are cold-blooded. They live mostly on land. Insects have six legs, while spiders have eight legs and spiders spin webs. They have skeletons on the inside of their bodies and they lay eggs. The crustaceans. Crustaceans are cold-blooded. They live usually in sea except for the wood lice. They have skeletons on the inside of their bodies and they lay eggs. Now, let's look at the group of worms. Worms are long and thin. They do not have arms or legs. They have lots of rings around their body that are called segments. Baby worms hatch from tiny cocoons. They eat dead leaves, plants, flowers, and old fruits and vegetables. They use their skin to breathe. Tiny hairs on their body help them to move. Now that we've learned about vertebrates and invertebrates, we are going to name the vertebrate group the animals belong to. So the vertebrate groups, as we recall, are the fish, the mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and birds. Pause the video and identify which group the animals on the slide represent or are in. Are you ready? Let's look at the first one. That's right. That flamingo belongs in the bird group. Here we have the stingray. Stingray belong in the fish group. The toad. The toad belongs in the amphibian group. The turtle belongs in the reptile group. And the bat belongs in the mammal group. Great job. Now we are going to name the invertebrates the animals belong to. So we know that they are the mullocks, the insects, the spiders, or the arachnids. We have the crustacean, the canoderms, and worms. Pause the video and see if you can get them in the correct group. Ready? Yes, we have here the mosquito, which is in the insect group. The snail is a mullox. It's in the mullox group. We have the jellyfish in the incaniderm group. That's the sponge in the sponge group, which is also the incaniderm group. 
then we have the worm in the worm group and we have the crab in the crustacean group. 